Isha Kriya is part of a movement to offer at least one drop of spirituality to every human being on the planet. Do not underestimate the size of the drop. A drop is an ocean by itself. This is a powerful tool of empowerment. We hope that you allow it to touch and transform your life and share it with as many as you can. Isha means that which is the source of creation. Kriya means an inward action towards that. Karma means outward action. If you perform action with your body or your mind or your emotion or your physical energies, we call it karma. If you perform an inward action which does not involve any of these, then we call this kriya. So Isha Kriya is an extremely simple process but a powerful tool to constantly move from untruth to truth. There are more complex and effective processes but it needs preparation, it needs a certain type of teaching, it needs a lot of training for somebody to teach it. But this is a process, generally all the processes, spiritual processes which move a person in this direction also involve physiological changes. Wherever physiological changes are involved, it's extremely important that the teacher is substantially trained. Otherwise, you will start generating the wacky kind of yogas that are going on all over the place which can cause more damage than well-being. But those aspects, those processes which does not involve any kind of physiological change but brings about a spiritual transformation, which are very few, those can be taught mass. And we can empower almost anybody who at least has a little good intention in his thought and emotion to teach it. That much is there, they can teach. We will do this process right now. You need to understand a little bit about what this is. Is everybody breathing here right now? Hmm? Please check. Don't take things for granted. It doesn't go on forever, it will stop someday, you know. Are you breathing right now? You? Hmm? Please check, don't they, don't just take it for granted. Are you really breathing? You're there, okay? This inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation. Next inhalation did not happen, you're gone. See how fragile you are. Just if this one inhalation does not go, wherever we look, you won't be around. At the same time, so fragile human life is, at the same time, how sturdy it is, how many things a human being can do in this world. On one level, it seems to be so fragile, just look at it and see. It doesn't come back. Too fragile, isn't it? You're taking it for granted, you're not conscious about it. If you become conscious and watch it, it's a damn fragile life. At the same time, how sturdy it is, how many things it can do. This is the beauty of creation. Everything is tenderly balanced. So tenderly, you cannot disturb it, <laughs> not easily, you know. The whole creation is like this, it's just like that. That shows the mastery of the Creator. It is so tenderly balanced, that means that shows, that manifests the mastery of the Creator. That which creates is of such mastery that it can 
afford to keep it so tender. So that is the adversity of the Creator. One breath, if you do not inhale, you're gone. But <laughs> that's the confidence in design <laughs> that the Creator has. So this breath is not just about exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. In yoga, we call this the kurmanadi. Breath is referred to as the kurmanadi. Now, if I ask you to watch your breath, which is the most common thing that people are doing these days, you don't get to watch the breath. You think you're watching the breath, but you're not watching the breath. You're only able to notice the sensations caused by the movement of the air. If one who is sitting next to you touches your hand, you think you know the touch of the other person, but you do not know. You only know the sensations generated within your body. You do not know how the other feels. You only know what kind of sensation happened in your body. Yeah? You understand what I'm saying? So right now, you do not know the breath. You only know the sensations caused by the breath. So when we say kurmanadi, we are not talking about the sensations, we are talking about the breath itself. Kurmanadi is referred to as a string, it's like a string, an unbroken string, it's going on. And this is the string which ties you with this body. If I take away your breath, you and your body will fall apart. What you thought is one will become two, that is the first deception. There are two behaving like one, a deception is on. So if I pull out the breath, you and your body will fall apart. We don't want it to fall apart, but if your consciousness travels with the breath, if your awareness travels with the passage of the breath keenly enough, then you will see, distinctly see, these two are not one. What is you and what is your body will stand apart. What is you and what is your mind will stand apart. If you and your body-mind combination stand away from each other, then suddenly you will find your ability to use your body and your mind goes into a phenomenal scale. If right now, if you have to count from one to ten, right, the highest is ten, if that is so, if you're attached or if you're involved with this body, you're less than one, that's where it is. If these two things come apart, suddenly you can rev it up all the way to ten. Your ability to use the mind and the body is so greatly enhanced that you almost look superhuman for somebody else. But I'm telling you, this is human. This is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing being human is super. Yes, not a simple thing to be human. Now the Isha Kriya just involves this. Your thought is playing a very important role in your life right now. So let's employ that and your breath is vital, so let's employ that. And with it, without your awareness, you wouldn't know that you're even here right now. Hmm? If you're not aware, you do not even know whether you're alive or dead, or whether you exist or not. So these three ingredients, your breath, your thought and your awareness, in the right combination, if you use them, you will see slowly a little bit of distance arises between you and your body. Now, you're very distinctly moving from untruth to truth. <laughs>